Meet Salvia spathacea, also known as the hummingbird sage. It is an evergreen perennial that you can find in Poly Canyon and even outside this classroom. You mean I can see it here on campus? Yes, you better believe it. Salvia spathacea makes many appearances on Cal Poly's campus. That makes sense because hummingbird sage is native to southern and central California and grow from woody bases on open or shady slopes in moist oak woodland, chaparral, and coastal sage scrub. It blooms and starts showing off its magenta flowers in March through May, so I should be seeing them right now. Yes, you should. When you see a hummingbird sage, stop and take a closer look at it, and you will notice the entire plant is covered with hairs that give it a soft but adhesive touch. The leaves are sticky and carry a pleasant aroma that attracts hummingbirds and repels gophers and deer. These leaves can be used to make a jelly, syrup, or a delicious cup of tea. The flowers have five fused petals and five fused sepals, which give them a bilater bilateral symmetry. The pollen-carrying stamens go beyond the petals, so when the pollinators or hummingbirds reach into the flower for nectar, they pick up pollen on their heads and bodies. The pollen is then unintentionally dis deposited to the next flower. From our weekly observations of the hummingbird sage, we noticed that it prefers growing on slopes with rocky and woody grounds close to other hummingbird sages. This plant was also found on the PCV trail, growing out of slightly damper ground alongside tall grass. The hummingbird sage grow close together in clumps, but also share space with other grasses, as well as poison oak. The plants surrounding it depend much on what type of soil the hummingbird sage is growing out of. Thanks to the recent rain, we had the pleasure of watching it gradually bloom and show off its beautiful magenta flowers. We would like to thank the sun, the rain, the soil, and the hummingbirds for cultivating this captivating plant.